This music video almost made me cry. After watching this music video with you guys on Twitch, which you guys should follow me on by the way, I was reminded just why I am so glad that I chose to cover like Japanese music on this channel and talk about it. Because not only is the music almost always amazing, like you'll see in this music video today, but the way that some would call cliche messages are delivered are just so unique that they make you find a, a new appreciation for it and it impacts you in a way that it never did before and that's exactly what this music video did to me but yeah after watching this video i'm definitely gonna want to check out some more of kurage p's work because god damn chef's kiss but yeah again make sure to follow me on twitch it's just a lot of fun getting to hang out with you guys not only to listen to music videos together but to like do things like this Dude, where's the windows bro where, where exactly do you like control the vents like what's the option yeah <laughs> all right i'm gonna shut up now enjoy the video Dude, you know it's gonna make you cry when you get a fucking My Hero Academia Deku version of the song. Now it's her turn. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Okay, now th this is the real shit chat. This is the real shit. Watashi no R. Here we go. I kind of want to get serious for this because uh, so somebody somebody mentioned it to me. Like the subject of this is actually pretty heavy. And yeah, like I really, really appreciate vocal. I mean, this is the reason why I started covering Vocaloid. The depth that it offers and the way it hits hard hitting subjects. Dude, fuck. I might cry. Dude, you know it's going to make you cry when you get a fucking My Hero Academia Deku version of the song. <laughs> All right, so the English subtitles are included in this so yeah I was about to take my shoes off no dude it's already beginning with the subject of ending your love oh my god no <gasps> oh no somebody got here before me that's what the lyric said so she was on her way to kill herself first but she th this girl was already there okay i'm gonna stop pausing i'm gonna stop pausing no more pausing For a lame reason, wow. <laughs> So she keeps running into different girls that are ending their lives and she hears out their reasons. And then she compares them to her life. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One more pause, one more pause. Dude, that is such a clever, like, story mechanic by her comparing the life of the other girls to hers we're, we're getting glimpses of her actual life the protagonist's life
I listened to their tale. I made them turn away. And yet there was no one. <gasps> oh, and there was no one who would listen to her about her struggles. It seems like she was a victim of bullying. It's her turn. <gasps> oh! I'm not gonna lie, I almost cried. Okay, okay, so she saw this girl here with the yellow card again. Let me see if I can find a better shot. See, look, look. So she, again, came up and then found this girl with the yellow card again that had a story, like, super similar to hers. And because, like, she reminded her of herself, e even though this girl had exactly the same problems as her, and these exact problems were causing, uh, you know, th the girl that's supposedly singing this song to want to end her life, she still told this girl to save, like, to not do it. And she listened. Like, she, she didn't do it. But she started crying because you know like she wishes that she could maybe like have this same energy for herself to like want to live on but she still told her this girl that is ex the spitting image of her and her own problems she still told her to not do it that's beautiful dude oh my god Hey guys, Omar from the future again because everything I said in that live stream was completely fucking wrong. <laughs> I corrected myself in the live stream, but well, was more like chat corrected me in the live stream. But I wanted to record this after the fact so that I could articulate my thoughts clearly or more clear than what I did in the live stream because I feel like a song like this really deserves that kind of clarity. And man, like I just, songs like this, I just appreciate so much. Uh, for hitting these really hard hitting deep subjects in a really creative way that makes you go like holy shit <laughs> but yeah in short this song brilliantly portrayed the actual process of what it takes to end someone's life and how unfairly not only not only how other people judge you and judge uh the things in your life that make you give up not only how they judge you but how you maybe unfairly judge yourself and how you invalidate your own experiences and you know it, it makes you call yourself a weak person and again invalidate your experiences everything that you've gone through in life so essentially each of the different girls that the uh, the main character in this music video saw on that rooftop, they were all her. In each pathetic problem that they talked about as, you know, as for it being their reason for wanting to jump off the rooftop, each of those problems belonged to the main character. And what this song expressed is that, yes, while each problem looked at under a microscope can be seen as trivial and makes you go like, oh wow, like who would, who would kill? themselves over that over that one little problem you know like uh one of the girls i think the first girl that she saw uh said that her reason for wanting to jump off was this boy not liking her back which is like yeah no shit nobody wants to end their own life over one little problem like that but here's the thing what this song is trying to get across is that it's never just one reason that gets somebody to this point it's a culmination, it's a, it's a snowball effect of a bunch of problems that add up to make you believe that nothing is going right in your life and nothing will continue to go right in your life. Again, the first girl's crush didn't like her back. 
uh, I believe w one girl said she felt like an outsider, like she didn't belong anywhere, like she was getting bullied, outcasted by her classmates. I think in one of the scenes, it showed that one of the girls was going through some kind of domestic abuse at home. And then the very last girl, had all, all of those same problems combined into one, making essentially like another carbon copy of the main character that we're following in the music video. And this is the part that made me kind of tear up a little bit uh, while listening to it on the live stream, is that like even after this girl, the MC, uh, like the girl that we're following throughout the music video, even though the girl she's looking at is herself, you know, a girl with the same exact problems that she has, she still told her to not do it. Even though she didn't believe it, she wanted to like, I guess, keep pushing through life. She didn't want to see this girl go. She didn't want to see herself lose in a way, give up and let life win. So yeah, she tells her to not do it. The girl then goes back inside the school. And then now we're left with only the MC finally being by herself on the rooftop, you know, without being interrupted by another version of herself with another problem. And right as she's about to jump, we get this scene at the very end with someone saving her. And as for who saved her, it's speculated that again, it's just, it's herself. She stops herself from jumping, which I just, I thought was beautifully executed. And it just it just really makes you think like never sorry I'm just gonna go off on a, on a little tangent never judge somebody based on little bits of information that they give you You know if, if somebody finally decides to open up about you know certain things that are making their life miserable And like they tell you like oh let's just say oh like my boss is a bitch for example at work Don't fucking cut them off and be like this thing isn't that bad uh, like oh this thing isn't that bad Like I wouldn't want to kill myself if, if if this little thing happened like you you know just get over it see that's that's the thing you're not supposed to look at each problem under a microscope and isolate it from the others and be like that's small deal with it because when a bunch of these little inconveniences add up it can make you think your entire life is just collapsing nothing's going right it makes you believe nothing will continue to go right nothing can go right which is then what leads you to maybe think about committing suicide. So yeah, uh, my message to all of you is just empathize with people. Don't, don't jump the boat, I mean, and judge them immediately based on one little thing that they choose to open up to you about. Even if they only tell you one thing, you can assume that they're going through a bunch of other things that they're not telling you about that have snowballed into making them feel depressed, essentially. Give them a chance, stick with them, don't invalidate their feelings, and also, don't invalidate your own feelings, okay? I know it can be hard, especially when the whole world seems to be against you. I promise you, I promise you, you don't actually want to go. You want to see things get better, and I want to see things go better for you as well. I'm saying this, but I'm like, I'm indirectly also talking to myself right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, and take care.